You ready for the questionnaire? So I'm here with Corey. We're here at the Haas factory and he was going over uh, the Haas robot packages. We got one, two, and three. And I wanted to talk, you mentioned that you had never run a robot and you came in Haas after running just the mills and the basic machines. And now you've learned this robot. You got, you said you were running the robot in the first day. Yeah, so they first handed me the robot and uh, just said program it basically. Yeah. yeah, it took me about one day to get my first program ready. And it was like, it wasn't the best program by any means. Right, this is, my this first is the first program. iteration. First ever, yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, but I got my first part program or robot program running in one day. So for a shop that is thinking of pulling somebody from another department, they're gonna take the chances in getting a hot robot. We do it all ourselves, all factory mm -hmm. standard. But they could actually onboard somebody with our help and their own, their own uh, being curious themselves, like you were, yep. and you could really run one of these. Definitely, uh, especially now that we got videos out that'll help yeah. with that too. There, those didn't exist when I was doing that, so yeah, yeah, I'd easily I would say. If okay. you were going to set up a parts, whether it's parts for twenty-five or fifty or hundred or a thousand, how long do you think it would be to actually set it up? If you've already got your templates and you've already got your parts, how long to actually onboard a project? Do you think? Uh, under an hour you're experienced. Um, okay. So this one I set up in about an hour. Uh, okay. That was just for the demo for the HFOs. Um, you can do it in less. If you, you get better and better. You, yeah, because if you, especially if you have a program that's already, that already works and you just want to modify it. You said you do like a save as, where you save yeah. basically the same template and then you just modify you it for modify whatever. Modify a couple positions. Yeah. And, and you get faster and faster at that, you find? Yeah, definitely. It's a, It gets really easy, you get really quick really fast honestly so again most of these are going to be in the same positions so you can say i wanted to load a longer piece into the machine i would just modify the last position in the loading because the, the ready motion is going to be exactly the same right you modify your pickup drop off and then the last point the chuck and that's it again Corey, you're at the factory so this the package that comes with the Haas is your standard te table size Yep. but it's wherever your robot can reach. And you said, we're looking at extended tables and things like that yeah. to where if you can touch it and you can pick it up, you can put it in a bucket, you can grab it from different mechanisms, but you can actually expand this. That is not the total work platform that you're stuck with. Yeah, so this this robot specifically has a 911 millimeter reach, which is actually almost the fence here. Right. You can make whatever template you want. We're gonna sell something just to show customers again that it can reach farther. It basically doubles the size of this table. Um, yeah, you can make anything. On our website too, we have models and drawings. I would take a look at the model and you can make your uh, your parts table. And the model has a, a reach orb on that model. So you can just make sure that it fits inside of that orb and that then your robot can pick it up basically. We're keeping the train moving here with Corey at the Haas factory. So if a customer buys a machine for a lathe, a robot package one or a mill, they're obviously, the goal is to buy a robot because you have a lot of parts and you want to run it that way, but you can move it out of the way. You can move it back into place. You can still not even move it and still get to your, you can go yeah. conventional anytime you want, right? Yeah. Um, so what most people would do and what I would recommend mostly, if, if you want to run your machine just like normal without a robot, yeah. all you have to do, your, your part programs actually stays the same in yeah. our system. So. All you would do is uh, turn off APL mode. You can turn APL mode on and off just with insert on the run job tab. And if you turn APL mode off, your robot or your robot's not going to run at all. It just goes dormant. Just yeah, exactly. Yep. It runs just like your machine would without the robot. And then you can come in and do some other parts. But the better you get at it, you can start yeah. integrating the robot as you as you learn it. Exactly. Yep. All right, here with Corey from the factory. So, do you think you could run if you had four machines with robots running? Let's say you had two ST10s and you had a couple of VFs with robots. Do you think you could run all those yourselves if you were uh, good at the robots to where one person could run automated four machines? Definitely. Definitely. I mean, yeah, once uh, once this is set up, right? Say I have this table full, that's five by three, so it's 15 parts there. So you might have an hour on this where it's running unattended. Yeah. You go to the second machine, you go to the third machine, and you're just running. Yeah, you you're doing the wagon wheel, you're just moving around. Yeah. Because I've heard shops that have guys that will run four Haas machines themselves. They're jumping from machine to machine because the cycle times are quick and they, you know, they got to do all that themselves. Yeah. And that's great they can run four machines, but think about if you could run four automated autom automated cells. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be pretty great. Yeah, and I mean, you can be even longer than that because you can stack parts on the table too. So you can get up to, right now it's limited to three. It won't be in the future.
picture, but you know, you get almost three times as many. We don't make that 15 parts into it's like 45, but it's not quite. It'd be like 40. So you know, you didn't have 40 parts, right? You can do, you can make your own template. We have the extended parts table also. Mm -hmm. Your row will run a lot longer unattended, so you'd have plenty of time to run four. That's the number one thing. It's hard to find operators. It's hard to find guys. Yeah. But if you have guys you've onboarded about the robot package, you're going to get more use of their time. And to be honest, I bet they would enjoy it more. If you're moving from machine to machine doing setups and breakdowns, rather than opening the machine so. and doing that, you might enjoy your work a little bit more. I think I think they would. I know I would. Yeah. Honestly. So. Awesome. Thanks, Corey. Yeah.